to bring the next person up on stage, uh, Ville Tovenen. He's got, uh, he's co-founded 10 plus companies with a few exits under his belt and uh, we're gonna hear, the title of his talk is Embrace Change or Disappear, but uh, we're gonna see what happens. So, All right. yes. Good afternoon, hello, hey. I thought about the audience and thought like, what would I like to hear? And I decided to discuss a little bit what I see happening online right now, what's going on and a little bit share of some of my present uh, cases and ideas how to operate. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I'm an old guy, so there's a lot of things going on, but basically everything started around 17 years ago with a software company called uh, QPR Software, and uh, since there are a lot of gaming people around, we founded Intervisio at 2000, you remember, Tilt TV and Jana Pelkonen, and and uh, all that, so that was the golden or silver cross-media era. My focus is transforming kind of the older industries and services into digitalization. Because it took us longer than we expected, about 20 years, to get these terminals and access and everything going. And most of the internet use that we see is still based on putting things online having games, online gaming, having services. I know that the, the problem isn't that bad in this audience, but mainly we're still not connected to each other. We have Facebook and we have Twitter and we have services, but real connection being online is something that is still to come. And most of all, all of our, our processes, even this Arctic 15, although this is excellent, uh, organization, it's built on the traditional event processes and, and, uh, and the behavior. We have program and we have hosts and we have uh, event and we have VIP parties and all that. It's not really crowdsourced or in the cloud in a way. And what I've done personally is I, I try to move myself and my business and my clients, everything to the cloud and operate there so to understand what, what really happens. So now we start seeing, especially in e-commerce and media, what happens when people get connected. They start being very opportunistic and using services that match best to their needs and demands. So what happens in Finnish uh, trade, Asryhmä changed their uh, CEO, Kesko named new one yesterday, Stockman is making red figures and all that. So we really start happening how digitalization changes the big picture and the, and the big industries. So solo mo is such a good idea to do anything, social, local and mobile, which basically means that you take off the value from time and place. I always tend to say that th this will end up in, in the countryside or a rural living since the knowledge, information, the value and work can be uh, conducted separately. So we can really move up to the cloud and start thinking how to create tribes and business there. Still in Finland, we, we only see kind of glimpse of Airbnb or Evernote or Spotify type of services, which both create better customer experience and base their business operation on sharing economy. Music is always the most in interesting industry to benchmark because digitalization took place first there. First, the CDs became irrelevant. Then we had like iTunes and we could buy song by song each other. And then somebody transformed it to the service, Spotify. And what happened is actually better customer experience more money involved and, and, a, and a disruption for the whole industry. Service anything, service acts is always interesting if you can create a community. But even in gaming and all the applications, the software industry, we still don't see 
so much about tribes and communities and really creating the audience together. And that's one of the challenges I like to tackle with any kind of company or business we, we react. So we could also call it kind of intelligent customer experience where big data or data meaning not understanding the data, big data and, and all the other kind of uh, possibilities come into the place. We'll have and we have our personal clouds. Some of you have seen my villatolvanen.com. I wrote about openness. I always talk about openness being the new oil, finding the customers, finding the partners for the finance, being open. In Finnish, I say avokeittyö kulttuuri. I move to the open kitchen culture to operate there and find the enemies and competition and partners and customers. And it's always way more effective way to operate because everything becomes really fast and you learn like hell. One Sunday afternoon, it took like 19 minutes to create a very deep understanding of modern osuuskunta, trade union or, or commercial union uh, models in, in different countries. France, US, Canada, Finland, Asia. 19 minutes and we pulled up together just about everything we knew, needed. So when we have these personal clouds and we can share experience, the question is how do we combine those together to integrate even more intelligent or smart platforms for business? And that means that we, we need to have something intelligent, like Spotify, music as a service, part of the business plan and the business culture. And we need to have the commercial model. I don't believe in distribution. I don't think companies should create applications and try to sell on App Store or Play or somewhere and not dis distribute di directly by themselves. I believe in communities and finding your own customers. Of course, you can be in different channels, but still it's about the customers and creating the customer relationships. So what you really need to think about is kind of integrate different business models because most of the things online are free, as we know. And if you listen to like Evernote, they always say that everything free is more important than the paying customers. Because by creating a tribe and creating a community, they can really kind of uh, develop the customerships, talk to the not paying customers and get more. So the freemium model is definitely the future of any kind of services, as it is in gaming, it, it must be in commerce, media and all over. I don't believe in trading online, I believe in being online, and I believe that customers and people will share things. So if you can transform your business into person to person instead of business to consumer or business to business to consumer, it's always a better idea. When you think about the idea, don't think something that might be cool or something that you could do. Think about what people should do. There's a big difference, and you see on the, the success rates of other companies who can really find an algorithm to match an existing or hidden need like Airbnb. Nobody thought that people would be willing or ready to rent uh, consumer apartments for 200 euros per night. And now we see that in some cities and situations, it's really creating competition to the existing hotel market and so on. And even in such a level that hotels need to transform themselves to have rooms more like home to actually uh, satisfy the needs for their. So think about the behavior because digitalization is about consumer behavior and people behaving differently and not about the technology or applications or softwares. Very good example, small Finnish one, is the new moving website and store. It's not like web store for traditional think of brand merchandises or services, but it's all about moving. I think the domain even is all about moving, so they put everything about movies to the cloud. The history, pictures, making of culture, stories, merchandise, all about that. And in a short period of time, sold, 45, sold to 45 countries. So it's really about this honeypot type of strategy where you put everything online and find the right 
audiences and, and tribe. So that's why everything you need to do online nowadays, and even more in the future, is all about people and people behavior. It's not about gamers, it's about people. It's not about music, it's not about store, it's about people and their willingness to be part of your tribe. And this is really hard for Finns because we think that when we have a product or technology, even after 20 years, it will be a killer app. But most of the companies need to create demand for the services. So you actually have to find people who are interested online, gather relationships, and then start selling things. And in that sense also, Evernote is excellent. Uh, example because they never spend any money on marketing or advertising anywhere in the world. And still they just had the kind of digital notebook type of business, ex your extended brain or something like what they, what they define in the beginning. So you, you need to get something that creates demand that, that kind of spreads like a virus. If you don't have your community, partners, consumers, customers, you will not learn fast enough. You have to be part of the crowd, not distribute or sell to the customers. Go in the middle and start operate openly and you'll get better results. And it's very important since most of the things are cheap or even free online that you actually create multiple uh, business models. Evernote sells socks and t-shirts and bags. Nothing directly connected with the original product, but connect connected with the brand and connected with the tribe. So you actually serve the tribe and not sell the product. And that's important. And I always said that if it's not business day one, it'll be hard to transform or become a business later on. So even if you have like big investments on technology or it takes time, you need to have something to sell day one to actually run and operate the business. I don't believe in lottery that you develop for years and then come to market and someone will come and pick it up. It's not like that. The year online is every year different and it's really hard to see the paradigm changes and when it changes. As we all know, Supercell really changed their strategy radically after one year. They were, first they were a multi-platform gaming company, all operations, and then they said mobile only and so on. I went to the freemium model, which also was really hard for the Rovio type other companies at the time. So the big moves come really early and you have to be brave enough to change at time. And that's why you have to be part of the tribe. That's why you have to be part of the customers and, and work together with them. Just a few examples how I operate with, uh, uh, since I have one minute. I started my villatolvanen.com online diary three years ago. Then I put it on Facebook and my friend said, you will be out of business. Then I put it to LinkedIn and my customers start seeing it. Then I put it to Twitter and it really blew up because I found similar people with similar interests. So it started like creating this idea of community and then I found other people who are similar so we created this kind of ecosystem of business and then I thought can we really change it to be a cause for a try for something else these are the results I can put it online and then then we found it one year ago on based on same experience digitalist network where we actually have media service events club agency, consulting, ventures, and talent all in one together. One brand, five different business models, same tribe, same companies, all working together, and numbers are amazing. It's in Finnish, but what we really did, we put up a small marketplace to the web online by ourselves and start feeding it and start growing it with customers' money. So if somebody is paying for our development. Um, one question I have is, uh, I mean, Arctic Startup, we have a pretty traditional business model when it comes to a media company. I mean, yeah. we, we sell some advertising on Arctic yeah. Startup and then we throw events like this where we try to get, you know, use our influence to get yeah. people into a room and then what are some, some things that you think a, a media agency like us could uh, to do to better build a tribe and to kind of... I, I think what you need to do is you, th you, you need to think a company as a Bruce Springsteen. 
you go into the middle of the crowd and you start asking people like what would you like to buy or what what do you need? Yeah. I also I use example. I think that Bruce Springsteen could sell American flags. So it's it's all about music and customer relationship, but you have to find the right products and services to comp comply. But that's why you have to move from the traditional industrial thinking that this is what we should do into hey guys, what do you want to do? Yeah. So you you start from nothing, yeah. you restart, rethink. <laughs> no, it, it's been something on my mind lately. I mean, because we're a, a young, flexible company, yeah. hypothetically. Like, we can actually do a lot if yeah. we yeah. You know, had the, yeah. the right idea behind yeah. it. So. so you actually you kind of try to create brand and tribe, and then you start testing, like, what might be the idea. Why, why do you think Finnish companies are so traditionally bad at kind of creating brands or creating like this kind of hype or tribe behind their uh, their their startups or companies. I mean like yeah. I, th I think like if you look at Sweden for example they've got a lot more kind of social yeah. companies while yeah. um, Finland's social companies are games essentially. Yeah the main reason is in Sweden there's so many, much more money that's willing to take risks that they can test in a way but the whole industrial era and the last hundred years is based on predictability and, and the processes. Mm -hmm. So about control and organization processes. And as I try to say, you blow up all about that and you put the company online, do it on the cloud and start swimming. Okay, okay. So you don't really know what happens and then there you find, but you can really quickly find the business models. You got to be thinking about this from day one, though, right? About creating this tribe and so on. Because a yeah. lot of these Finnish yeah. companies I'm seeing, they're kind of like, oh, we are Valosoft, OU, and uh, we, you know, it's like, it's not necessarily a hype around it. So, yeah, I started marketing and selling Digitalist Network six months before we launched. Okay. I bugged all the way, everything I did. I think about this, what do you think? What do you think? And all that. So, the whole DNA and the culture and the the business becomes different because it's Luomo, it's real. Thank you. Thank you so much.